today we are in Singapore and we're doing the ultimate day in terms of activity. We're even gonna show you how to save a little bit of money. Yes, and ultimately at the end, we're gonna see if our hack that we've heard about is actually gonna work. But it starts right here with some cable cars. <laughs> going to the top of Mount Faber and then it also goes down to the bottom of Sonota. So you can have spectacular views all over the country, city, country of Singapore. <laughs> And also if you're a big kid like me right now because it's the 50th anniversary of the Singapore cable cars, it's everything is branded Pokemon. Like there's Pokemon everywhere inside the cable cars and uh, Pokeballs outside of each cable car. It's super cool. We made it all the way to the top. There's just like a little restaurant, a gift shop. That's yeah. pretty much it. So we didn't get out. Now we're all the way we're going all the way back down. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go down to the bottom, which I believe So we just arrived at Sentosa Island and of course once you leave the cable car you enter this massive gift shop with all the coolest Pokemon toys for you and your children. Every time Tracy sees a Starbucks, you just gotta go in, just, just a little bit, just to see, just to see if there's anything different. Yeah, I want to see if it's different. So Sentosa Island is basically the ultimate tourist island. You got a water park, mm -hmm. you got an aquarium. I see something there that says 40 Adventureland, like there's a whole bunch of Attractions yeah, all kinds of stuff itself. and restaurants, bars, yeah. shopping, and a bunch a of, of very hotels. expensive hotels. It is very expensive <laughs> to stay on this island. Yeah, so we're just here for the cable car today, yeah. but we did do Singapore Universal Studio uh, yeah. yesterday. We'll link that video down below. That was a lot of fun. That being said, it actually is really easy to get to the island and back. So if you don't mm -hmm. want to stay on the island like we aren't, you have the cable cars, you have yeah. the express monorail. It's, it's no a good worries. time. It's a good time on the island. No matter what time of the day or night, if you are close to the sea, you'll see dozens, sometimes hundreds of massive cargo ships because after Shanghai, uh, Singapore has the busiest cargo port in the entire world. It is insane. Best day ever. Thank you. Thank you. So the cable car is a very nice ride. I would highly suggest if you'd like to, you know, enjoy some views yeah. and a smooth ride. I think it's a great way to see, obviously, like the city and country from mm -hmm. above, um, especially with Sonota Island. So there are two lines and you can get a pass that does both lines. Yeah. One just on Sonota and one here, Mount Fiber, all the way down to Sonota. Yeah. And talking so, about yeah. passes, how did we get those passes? Well, that's a great question. So this video is brought to you by Headout. Headout is the ultimate booking platform for all your activity need and that all around the world. So instead of going to various different platforms to get your tickets, Headout will also give you the best price for this. Also, they have combo packages. So for example, today we're doing the Singapore Flyer, the Time Capsule, uh, Gardens by the Bay, and also the Flower Garden, all on one ticket. So basically I just click one click all the tickets are there, pay right there on the platform. So now I don't need to go to different ticket centers to get all these different tickets. Also with the combo pack, it gives you an extra discount as well. So this we're saving 10% on. Also, if you wanna use our code Manny8, you can save an extra 8%. So win-win for everyone. So once again, for your next adventure, make sure to check out Head Out. We are gonna put their link down below. And once again, like Tracy said, Manny8 will save you an extra 8% on top of whatever discount they already have. So now off to Gardens by the Bay. Mm. So this massive city-like garden is 250 acres. It opened in 2012, has millions and millions of visitors every single year, making it one of the most popular tourist destinations here in Singapore 
and we are here to see what it's all about. So far it's very green, very nice, but what can we do here, Tracy? We'll see. There's so much to do. <laughs> So the first thing we're doing here is the flower dome. I have no, wow, that's so nice. It's basically exactly what it sounds like, a flower under a dome, many flowers. So basically the Flower Dome has gardens from all around the world. So for instance, back there we pass the South African Garden. This here, the Flower Dome, is the, holds the Guinness World Record or Guinness title for the largest glass greenhouse in the world. It's huge. Just to give you an idea of how big this place is, in terms of volume, if we would to, you know, fill, whoa, there's somebody up there. <laughs> if we would fill this place up with water, it could hold the equivalent of 75 Olympic-sized swimming pool. That's crazy. So now we just entered the cloud forest, which is just a different building with a complete different atmosphere. And why is this one famous for? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. It is famous because it has the tallest man-made indoor waterfall. That's crazy. This place is kept between 80 and 90% humidity. You can feel it, especially when you breathe too, like it has that like hard to breathe sensation and you can definitely see it on the ground. made it all the way to the top of the man-made waterfall which is again very very tall and now we're slowly making our way down and around it just you know looking around enjoying the vegetation and the view and the view the view on this side is like super nice cloud forest is very nice and if you are hesitating between the two, two cloud forests and yeah. skip the dome. But if it's you're nice, buying but... your ticket with head out, it's all part of the same package. <laughs> now, lunch time. Okay, so we have actually never tried Shake Shack. It's been around every Yeah, it's just place weird we to go. try this in Singapore and not in the New yes. United States, but. But the this chicken one looks so good. Yeah. Got like coleslaw and pickles and spicy chicken. Really good. Shake Shack, solid 7.5 out of 10. Now up to the next activity, which I is... I would say an 8. Great. Oh, okay, strong statement. Yeah. Where are we going, Tracy? Uh, Super Tree Observatory. Oh. If you want a 360 degree view of Singapore, this is the place to be. From here you can see everything from all the ships and the port, the F1 track, the domes that we were just in. What's the name of the Ferris wheel? Singapore Flyer. We're going on that later. And of course the Marina Bay and the downtown area in the background, like it's quite stunning. It's getting close to 4 p.m. now. So now, it is time to try our ultimate hat. Let's see if this works. Going to the 55th floor, then we're gonna transfer up to the 56, 57? 57, I think. Top, top. <laughs> Nobody's asking questions. By the so way, sky purpose 55. Yes. <laughs> Elevator ride number two. 
The famous pool you see from this hotel is right there. So here's why this place is a hack. So basically normally to come to the observation decks only you pay $32, which is quite expensive just for an elevator ride up. But here you can come here all the way for free. And the cheapest thing on the menu that you can order is actually a Coca-Cola and orange juice for $8 a person. So $16 versus $64. Or if it fancies you, there's also a $33,000 bottle of Japanese whiskey. So you know, it's $8 or $33,000, whatever you feel like. So now my question is, is there a spot where you can see more of the beer? The wind picked up suddenly and there is a storm coming, I think, guys. Like, a legit storm. So it is really windy, as you can tell, but you do have a little platform outside of the restaurant where you have a pretty good view of the bay, which is super, super nice. You can see downtown from this side, though. So this tip actually worked and it's fairly easy to have a reservation. We booked less than about 16 hours in advance and keep in mind today is Valentine's Day and we were still able to get a spot. So here's the thing, if you don't mind paying $32 because you want the best unobstructed view of basically the downtown area and the ocean and everything, then just go to the observation deck. But if you don't mind seeing pretty much the same thing but a little bit further back into the building, then you know, come here, have a drink and actually pay for something. And just like that, we're back to the ground floor, but it was a good time up there. Yes. <laughs> Should we say our difference? of like whether you go there this guy I said that already. Just kidding, he's ahead of me. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit in La La Land <laughs> because I've been doing the planning for this entire trip and sometimes when I'm doing something, I just... Forget about other mind. things. Yeah, so I guess. So uh, in case you don't know, at the in the basement of that hotel and like underground yeah. and across the street, there's like this massive, very luxury focus mall. <laughs> anyway, we are just making our way out to go to another very cool activity. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm always ready. Yeah, I'm ready. So as we were walking, I saw this coffee shop and there was a huge line outside. I was like, okay, but you can get takeaway? I have no clue what this is. Maybe I'm missing out on something. Background coffee, so we got a chocolate croissant, but like they even put your receipt in this little thing. It screams fancy. You can get coffee from literally all around the world. Even the bag just is so fancy. Okay, let's like, see if the uh, if the little croissant is good. It's not that expensive, like three fifty. It's not a big croissant, it's but very still. Tiny, to be okay, let's see. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's one of the best because I have a hot. It's so buttery. Mm. If you're ever in Singapore, get a croissant at that place. That Take is the best. that, friends. Wow. So I'm not sure if we're going to be successful or not. We are going on the uh, Singapore Flyers, but we've been trying to kind of uh, time it all day to hopefully be here at sunset. So the sun is still quite up. It's gonna go down in about an hour and 30 minutes, but there's a little something else, yeah. another activity that we can do before going up there. So we'll see if we get lucky, because even though it was cloudy all day, right now it looks like we might get a sunset after all. I'd be shocked if we do, but hey, I'll take it. We'll see if we get lucky. I stopped to film the wheel for like two seconds and Tracy is just there because it says gelato on the thing. To the time capsule. We actually have no idea what it is, it just comes with the ticket for the Ferris wheel. So 
also the time capsule is just like an expo about the past and the future Singapore. of Singapore. It's yeah. interesting, it's cool, it's interactive and everything, uh, but just so you know, it connects directly to the entrance of the, the wheel yeah. after that. So like, once you're done with that, straight at the entrance. So right now we're just sitting on a bench and waiting for a little bit of time to pass because we were trying to time the sunset. We thought it was separate. It's yeah. not separate. We've been sitting here for, uh, for a while. If you get the budget for $522, you can have a full-on two-hour dining experience. That's what they were uh, doing there. It would be pretty cool. We are in, and this is a very, very slow Ferris wheel ride. It's going to take about 30 minutes to do a full tour. And hopefully once we're up there, it's going to be pretty much subset. Subset? Sunset. 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 song that started, we made it to the top. 65 meter above sea level. So you can also buy like a champagne package which is like $78 I think. Mm -hmm. And they don't guarantee that you're gonna be like alone but this could have been us. The two girls up there are just taking selfie away with champagne and they're alone in their capsule. That could have been us. <laughs> also available on head out. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to see but if you're looking past the cargo ships and not to the side, like straight, straight there. You see a whole bunch of lights in the distance. From what I look on Google Maps, that's actually Indonesia. So over to the side, you have some other islands that are still Singapore. But straight across, about 20 kilometers. It's kind of crazy. You can see Indonesia right there. The experience ends in a gift shop with a bunch of stuff that have literally nothing to do with the experience like a back to the future car which is cool but just what's, what's the link what's the link Singapore Flyers I mean if you enjoy a good view there's probably no better place to go um, to get a good view it's probably even better I would say than the Marina Bay uh, at the top because you really really see far there's yeah. no obstruction there's nothing around and, and you, see you see 360 like, exactly so for that reason if you are choosing one or the other i would choose the time capsule yeah. and it took a little bit more than 30 minutes to do to go around it was yeah. going a little bit slower at some point so about 40 to 45 minutes um but yeah very enjoyable now we are going back to the train oh, the back to closer to oh no miss the street lights here, guys, are so long you don't want to miss don't it. Don't miss them at all. <laughs> We're going to get back closer to our hotel, to Little <laughs> India, to go get some supper because Indian food is the best food. Some Valentine's <laughs> Indian food. And we are back to Little India. In our first impression of Singapore video, we actually spent some time here. If you like just a colorful neighborhood, full of like hustle and bustle oh, with life. delicious food. This is the, the place food. to be and like probably one of our favorite spots in Singapore so far. Okay. And if you want some cheap and delicious Indian food, you gotta go to Take a Market. This is where like the hawkers are and it's just good. The variety is insane as well. If you want the good stuff, you gotta go to Delhi Lahori, and I mean four naans and two portions of butter chicken for $14. It doesn't get much cheaper than that, especially not here in Singapore where everything is outrageously expensive. Taylor Swift blasting in Little India. That's different. 
So back to our hotel, which is pretty nice and kind it of affordable nice. for Singapore. So we're gonna put the link to that one down below as well, Great just area. in case you're interested. And also the link for head out if you want to book any kind of cool activities here in Singapore, anywhere else around the world, make sure to check them out. Use our code. We use them ourselves. <laughs> yeah. And otherwise, until next time, see you guys. In the next one.